It's so weird. I'm watching this show called um, Blood Under the Bridge. Approachable Dreams. Um, it's a little series on Netflix. Thanks, And knowing what I know now about narcissism, this is like so bad. It's like this guy here. He played uh, David Banner, the Incredible Hulk, alter alter ego uh, on the Avengers or no in the actual Incredible Hulk movie or the Avengers one of them because they, they always had different people yeah the movie Avengers um, no one of them at least I think he may have gotten fired they always changed people who played David Banner anyways enough of the superhero stuff um, you see this coming from a mile away. I think that's a good thing for me that I see that coming from a mile away. They had, uh, this is still the first episode, but they met online. The guy came to the door. He's supposed to be a doctor, actually doctor without borders. And he says, you say it in French, MSF, which is a médecin sans frontières. So that's, the, that's the, apparently that's the original word, but it's doctors without borders. So he comes wearing like L.L. Bean type clothes, you know, scrappy. Um, and she's like a California rich woman and she's been married four times. But her daughter's like saw right through the whole thing. But she, this woman hasn't. Um, I, I only know about the preface of this movie is that, you know, he's not what he seems. And it's like so obvious. It wouldn't be so obvious to me back in the day but it's like this is typical narcissism the first red flag was he had narcissistic injury so they were out having dinner he was really laying it on and she was getting sucker sucked into that and then he comes in she, she invites him in and he immediately goes on the bed and then she states her boundary. She's like, I'd prefer that we just stay on the couch. He started to sulk and he walked out. That should have been the end of it. And she said that to her co-workers that it's, you know, he was weird. But then the guy called back and, you know, said, oh, I, w I wanted to be myself. I didn't, I was blah, blah, blah. Like he was saying things that he thought she wanted to hear. And she took him back. Because she said he she finds him sexually attractive. Oh my God, this is typical of me uh, going to LA or with my off and on guy of uh, 20, 20 someone years. That's not enough to stay in a relationship. And now, many years later, I understand that. So, I thought I would just leave a little video talking about that. Typical, typical. I'm glad that I can see these things now and it's kind of like they, they reinforce my behaviors and my things that I've gone through and I've been listening to more Sam Vaknin videos and I understand them more now too. So that's progress. You could tell I'm in a good mood. So when I'm in a good mood I could actually uh, think a little bit more clearly and positively and uh, everything's not so negative. Talk to you later.